Stay with us, Charlie. Joining me now for a reaction to all of the global news, New York securities lawyer and former regulator Stuart Meisner. Good to see you, Stuart. So, did, do you think Blankfein knew that there was a criminal investigation about to begin when he was giving testimony earlier in the week? Uh, I'm, sure he, I'm sure there were, uh, obviously I don't know uh, positively, but I'm sure there were subpoenas issued, and uh, once there were subpoenas issued, obviously... No, no subpoenas issued. Bottom at... line, Stewart, yeah. you're innocent until proven guilty. Correct. And we saw what happened with the case against those two Bear Stearns executives last year where the government lost its case. I think that was the U.S. attorney in East Brooklyn, East. but it's still very close. It's kind of a similar sort of case about whether these guys knew that they were selling bad stuff. So the government has lost a very significant case very similar to this. That's right. They're not going to go ahead with the indictment until they're sure they have a case, right? Oh, well, uh, no doubt. Uh, they, they're going to cross all T's and dot all I's. Uh, and, in fact, it may not, uh, even if the U.S. attorney decides to do something, it doesn't mean a criminal prosecution. With Prudential, for example, there was a deferred prosecution which was not a prosecution, but an agreement to pay restitution and, and, and other fines, uh, which is, in effect, not a prosecution, but a criminal action. So tell, tell, us, tell us about, Stuart, for a second, tell us about the investigators. Who's doing the, as we found out from the Madoff investigation, the SEC investigators were not up to snuff. Who are the people? They have to be real sharp to get a Goldman guy. Well, the U.S. US Attorney's Office uh, utilizes both their internal investigators, the FBI, as well as the SEC investigators all together. Uh, so they can use one or all of those. So they can get uh, the cream of the crop. Right. Well, and, and, and don't forget that uh, normally the, these investigations don't just rely on documents, but sometimes and oftentimes informers, former employees, right. mm -hmm. people who have left Goldman Sachs, for example, that may have not turned up elsewhere in other firms, which well, they would be in normal circumstances. The, the Southern Charlie Gasparino, Stuart Meisner, thank you very much for coming in.